Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm P. Richardson, the CEO of Community Action Suffolk. I have been CEO of Community Action Suffolk for two years now. Some of you might have detected from my accent I'm not actually from Suffolk. I have been down here for 30 years now, yeah? But I have poshed up considerably <laughs> since I've been down here. Um, our first award this evening is the Colonel Probert uh, Award for Community Initiative. Um, the winners of the award um, are Aldborough Hospital Volunteer Team. Um, the Volunteer Garden Team is a dedicated, hard-working group who we meet weekly to manage the hospital and grounds. Uh, they keep the gardens tidy, safe and attractive for patients, visitors and hospital staff by planting and tendering flower be beds, keeping shrubs and trees trimmed and generally keeping it in immaculate condition. So it's great pleasure that I invite uh, the first award recipients of to win their award. On to the next award. Um, at Community Action Suffolk, we do a, a substantial amount of support for individual organisations, voluntary sector organisations. We do DBS checks, we do training, we do safeguarding. But one of the things that we find in common with any organisation that is successful, there's always one or two individuals behind that that really drive the organisation. Um, we have an award for a successful individual, and that person tonight is Mark Knowles from Kessingland. Uh, so congratulations to Mark on winning the Ian Campbell MBA Award. <laughs> to complete the community section of the awards, uh, Cast Business Services manages insurance cover for village halls and parish councils across Suffolk and beyond, and our team is on hand to answer all your calls. In addition to our specialist services uh, through regular information updates, newsletters and fact sheets, the Village Hall or Community Award is therefore sponsored by uh, Business Services at CAS. Okay. The award is to recognise the positive contribution made to a community by its Village Hall or Community Building. The winner of the Village Hall or Community Building is Gainsborough Community Library. He didn't mention the cheque to The cheque was for £100. <laughs> for help with the facilities in the, in the library. Yeah, all smile nicely. <laughs> the next section is for children, young people and youths. Our first award, Kelsey Padmore volunteers her time at Suffolk Young Carers based in Claydon near Ipswich. And since completing her work experience with Suffolk Family Carers in June, Kelsey has continued to volunteer with the team at Suffolk Young Carers for at least once a month. The next person is Morgan Gammon, who volunteers at Newmarket Day Centre. Okay, now we move on to our next uh, Children, Young People and Youth Award, which is the Anne Dunford Award. Um, we are delighted that Anne is with us this evening, and her award is for a group of young people who have taken a leadership role in decision-making process for the benefit of other young people. Uh, the winners receive a trophy uh, for their group to hold for a year and £250 for the project. This year's winners are Student Life. Okay, the Roddy McLeod Award is the final award in this section and it is for a small but exceptional youth group or a group which has made a real difference to the community. Outreach Youth is the very essence of a small but exceptional youth group. Outreach Youth provides information guidance on LGBTQ young people on their issues that are shaped by young people 
plus fun activities in it and generic youth club, uh, great youth workers to chat to, and most importantly, uh, for young people to chill, relax, and make new friends. Through this excellent provision, uh, isolation is reduced, positive identities built, and relationships are secured. So our next award is the Event Organiser of the Year. This award is to recognise an event which involves the local community and the volunteers. And we're very pleased to say that this year's winner is John Butter. <laughs> Moving on to the other very important part of the, the evening, our second volunteering award is the Outstanding Contribution to Volunteering. This award is for an individual who has made an exceptional voluntary contribution to the community and this year's worthy winner is Reg Langston who volunteers with Little Ooze Headwaters Project. <laughs> and so to our final award, this, this award provides recognition to a group that has made a truly significant contribution to the benefit uh, of the community across the whole county of Suffolk. And we believe that Suff Suffolk Lowland Search and Rescue, normally referred to SALSA, is a voluntary organisation that are worthy of that award. Thank you. 